Hi guys, Barty here. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, and today I wanted to cover Hell Pit, which is kind of like a preview, I guess, of mod 18. Anyway, um, I know other people have been talking about Hell Pit before, so um, this is kind of like two weeks after, two weeks later. So um, I did get my um, token of. Um, I was gonna say token of appreciation, token of participation. Yesterday, so you can uh, token of achievement, right? Um, I've basically did help it every day on my main uh, for the past 14 times, so I got a token of achievement. Uh, so basically, this what comes after that. I don't know either, because um, as you saw, I just took the quest. Um, but so first I'm going to talk about uh, the currency and the rewards and then I'm going to show kind of like my run and at the end uh, l the last stage would be um, how you could probably do something different or tips on how to do this because um, it does progressively get harder and especially after every seven runs so the currency as you saw earlier um, I got token of appreciation then there's um, brimstone and lastly would be what was it challenge I guess and you get this um, so this token of participation and you need five for this uh, amount I'm gonna cover that in a bit so the basic one is uh, our brimstones 25 to get the highest one which is um, the mark of potency uh, all these you can get from legacies so um, I'm not so you know excited about those camp companion upgrade tokens as well you can get from legacies blood rubies you can craft them with Joe crafting um, I I literally gave them away blood rubies now I don't really use them um, and sort of health you can actually get from um, trade bars so I mean yeah it's great it's free I guess so um, either and, and but they're bound to account so it's like mm, it's for myself yeah okay it, not really for resale it would have been nice if it wasn't it was actually um, uh, not bound um, but what you're gonna do challenge is the next best thing um, I'm just gonna cover this I will put in this the description on the event page the official event page so uh, basically token brimstone is a daily that you get I don't know what's the max I guess I could calculate that for you guys this one survived at least 14 times now I'm hoping that we'll be getting token of flames uh, subsequent runs after the 14th one same with the achievement right the UI it doesn't really explain very well I mean everybody's got access to this information but it, it, it's it's very I don't know how to describe it not well written um, I don't know I, I'm a visual kind of guy so if I was to read this like multiple times I'd still probably wouldn't get it um, so I have to actually physically run the thing kind of get the idea um, should you make it to the third tier now the difficulty now should be the second tier and there's only 21 days of this event so basically what that means is by the end of this event by the uh, by the last run of the event this this uh, this time around this help it you will would have unlocked the most difficult um, I guess make it the third tier of difficulty it just says that so I'm assuming that's the cap the third difficulty you can't access it you will have to wait till the next event so if we are to assume that you get the token of flames per event per, uh, this is like the third week right the, the three weeks for this three weeks you can only get one token of flames and you need five to get the mount which we all were um, you know thinking that if it's like a once a year thing that will take five years um, 
but hold up if if you read the description uh, the page that I'm gonna link in the description it does say that there will be other events other than help it which has the same currency so um, maybe it's gonna be like um, CTA so there's like five events in a year uh, so it is possible maybe to get a mount by the end of next year or whenever the fifth events gonna be gonna happen um, so don't kind of like you know despair um, we'll see what the future holds um, yeah so I'm, I'm hoping to get a, a, at least a token of achievement again I already got one um, token of participation achievement I mean if you guys can't wait then you know if you want to get a cold art go ahead maybe not a good idea to get that maybe not a good idea to get that because this is second best it's free uh, but I believe you can get one from Tiamat so um, yeah um, Golden Warhorse probably is the best deal for your buck for this event maybe get these um, if you are you know leaning towards that but I my bet would be to put to to get one of these maybe get one of these to kind of like make a devil or demon loadout since it's gonna be free um, I don't know maybe it's really up to you what you want to do uh, I mean personally I would get the companion upgrade token or the mark potencies uh, rank sevens because those are pretty expensive do you have astral if you go to the astrals yeah, it's about 125,000. I get a discount because of VIP, 93,000. So it's like mm, a one day refinement to get a Mark 7. So, you know, five years, uh, you know, it's like it's your AD uh, costing efficiency. Uh, so without further ado, I probably talk too much about this anyway. I know I'm you missing something. To be quite unkillable. Ooh, that's new. Perhaps it is time for you to face the strongest combatants. Strongest combatants. Prepare yourself for the toughest fights yet. You have unlocked a higher level of difficulty. There are now only two rounds. Ooh. Oh, okay. And one token of flames. I'm gonna screenshot that. So this is new for me as well. <laughs> I know this is like, I don't know, three hours after reset. Uh, I wanted to do this um, earlier, but unfortunately I had a family event. And not that you guys care or anything. So free game. Um, I didn't want to talk about this like at the last point, but do slot in marks of demons. Slayer thing. Oh my God. I forgot to get my <laughs> I forgot to get my um, purple from my OP. Oh well, I'm gonna have to work with what I have. There's bronze wood. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe Holy Avenger, I guess, for survivability. This is not what I normally would. If I had um, Lionheart, I'd slot that in, but I don't. Do I maybe wanna. Maybe not dredge. Maybe not log drop. I don't even know why those chats pop up. Um, so pop all your buffs uh, for me. I don't even have sorbet anymore. Um, I mean, I guess I could spend a bit on. Like these ones. You know what? I don't know what to, what's gonna happen. So, so I am going to. Hmm. Hmm. Defense. I have a lot of defense. I'm recording right now. My wife. Um. power I guess I know I've got like quite a bit of power 
even though I'm like nerfed. Um, stone. Uh, combat. I feel like I should use this. Okay, looks good. Oh, well. here it goes. Nothing. Let the game oh, I forgot about my, the other buff. Um, what you do? Oh, wow. What the hell? I got tossed away. <laughs> I tossed around. Oh, uh, maybe I should have um, changed my map power. Probably that was not a good one. Oh, good. I got a shield. You get one of these powers like per round. So uh, a gold, sorry, a shield one would be a good one to have for <laughs> those kind of like um, emergencies pushing me around. I actually prefer this one uh, compared to the other previous rounds because they had like too many mobs and some of them have like stuns and staggers like that for example like that. I really do not. So you want to target these guys first if you can. I use a deflect for damage because why not? Survivability as well as um, damage. I'm gonna move a bit because I want to change this. To that I guess. More killing power. I wanna get a Revius guys first because they have this really annoying uppercut thing. And I don't want to be like stuck in the air, I guess, or at the edge where I can't do anything. Where are they? Right. <sighs> yeah, I really do not like that at all. Like being flung up in the sky like that. Yeah, this is not kind of like what I want at all. <laughs> I may have to pop my shield early here than expected um <laughs> while you guys are watching me getting tossed around um there are other things like in your boons there's a i think it's called demonic mastery which gives you a uh, 10% i think to resistance against demons Oh god, I can see my life going down already. It's alright. I'll I heal as I deflect. So have your AoEs um, as much as possible I guess. I have my shield mastery up because I want to get my stamina. Instead of um, eating away at my health, it's gonna eat away at my stamina. Event. Apparently there's only two rounds today. So. I hope I don't fail. I mean, it's not gonna be bad if I fail. I could also do it again, I guess. I haven't failed yet, so... So it's way easier now, since those uh, mobs are gone. Oh, it's the Carlton. Dun, 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 dun. It's not unusual. <laughs> you don't have that Next emote, by the way. Just kind of like a shame. I'm looking for okay these these girls, succubus. They do like a taunt, so I want to get rid of them first. Get rid of the ranged first as well. Right. Um, hearts uh, is basically a regen. So those are good, but I want to maintain my shield since it's like the last round, I believe. I don't know if there's going to be a bonus one. Oh god, that guy's hit back. Need to target him first. Get rid of him as soon as possible. Uh, by the way, this is not my tank loadout. This is my DPS loadout. So it may not be as tanky as I could be. Um, but that's because I'm doing solo runs. If I was to do like a group run with 3 DPS's and 1 heals, I would not use this build at all. Um, it is 
tanky enough for solo runs as a boss. Oh, okay, it's those um, mounted ones. Not really big threat. I guess he just has uh, more damage and more HP. His skill says it's not gonna give me problems, basically. Oh, there's more of them? Okay. I'm trying to... I did not want to do that, to be honest. Um, I'm looking for... Okay, kill the ranged first. Use, um... Do the key when you can. I want to get rid of the range first because they can be like... Oh no, these guys. They can be at one point and then just like hit you from range, so I don't want that. But the, more, the highest priority are these guys because they do the stuns and you don't want to be facing towards the wall because when you get stuck to the wall, then that's it for you. It's GG, game over. <laughs> game over <laughs> is my old... Um, Gaming society. Gaming society team. Alright, get rid of the succubus, get rid of the range, but most of all that uh, demon, but I guess he's dead now because of the staff of flowers, I'm assuming. I don't see any more. I don't think they're gonna spawn any more of those, so which is great. And it's just gonna be me and the boss. I could actually swap to a swarm at this point. Maybe I should. Just to get that extra damage in. I don't have to spend like hours with this guy if I don't have to. Let's move to the center because I don't wanna get stuck or, or something. I'm eating strepsil because I got a problem with my throat. Coughing. Cough, cough. I need to change the chat, man. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. I might have to cut this out. I, I will say that I would cut it out, but I don't. Um, what else can you do? Yeah, so the marks and the wards of demon slayers or demon whatever uh, protection is from stronghold, and they're about like 300, 600 guild marks each. Okay, what the fudge was that? I think it was lag. I hope it's lag. I don't want to like disconnect at this point. Maybe I should switch to single target. I don't know. I mean, cleave coupled with um, shield, whatever, is good. But for AOE, not so much for single target. I mean, it's not giving me that much trouble, I'm just, um, yeah, I don't know why it does that, I think it's my recording, it's got issues, it's not liking it, maybe it's, I don't have enough, um, space, <laughs> like, I wonder if I should have just, like, gone for Earthshaker, um, oh, no bonus, Oh well, okay. So kind of like I should get out of here just because I don't want to um, end up doing a mistake. <sighs> Excuse me, all the saliva is coming out. So um, you guys saw what I had previously before going in. So um, obviously there's no extra brimstones. I think that's like done for the extra brimstones. 21 is basically um well seven 14 yeah 14 extra 14 plus 7 is 31 um so seven extra is the only thing achievement okay so let's see what he has for us greetings my friend can i interest you and you can't see it because of my face but here we go, three tokens of brimstone. What token of flames? I'm just gonna... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so no achievement ones I suppose I was one away from that not that I was gonna get that anyway hmm So, okay, it seems like you'll only get a token of achievement for every seven. So, sorry, token of participation. Token of achievement, participation, what? Okay, token of achievement, you only get every seventh, but not on the first seven. It starts, everything starts kind of. Brimstone is every day. Um, token of achievement is every seven. Uh, and the challenge one is after the 14th right subsequent and I believe in the UI I believe in the UI it says you can only get seven token of flames up to And there is only seven days left with an extra one day for those who missed uh, one day, I guess. Um, so that's like three, three. So you can get two legendary of insignias and one of these, I guess. Hmm. I do want to get one. I do want to get one of these. So maybe it's like three, two, and one. Maybe get the preservation wars. It's, I mean, it's, subjective whatever you want um now that covers that i do want to go over um tips and tricks now uh so i was saying marks of uh demon slayers and ward of demons i guess can't be ward of demons there it's over here in your stronghold uh i mean actually this is what placed how my stronghold placed it so, uh, my guild so uh, I don't know how it will be placed but you have to have a gem monger or you can go to your alliance who has a gem monger so it's uh, 465 for the offensive one 10 more damage and then there is the demon ward which is 10% damage reduction uh, I was saying yeah, I don't want you guys to see that. I was saying about boons. Boons, there's this one. So, increases damage <laughs> and damage resistance versus demons by one per rank. So, basically 5% offense and 5% defense. But I didn't go for that. Um, I, as I was saying, maybe I'll make... Uh, because uh, if you look at my loadouts, there's a DPS loadout. That's my gold farm load that I guess that's just like um, equipment that has gold PvP and my Tom and my Vanguard <coughs> which is my solo uh, DPS build Tom is obviously getting over like 700,000 HP all defense steps capped it's, it's really annoying like with uh, swapping in chance and stuff so I have a loadout specifically for Tom so if I had one more for um, the demo, uh, demon loadout I guess um, great um, and lastly I hope it's the last one uh, you can you can go for these ones right these are, these are very old armor but if you had one piece just one piece for the damage resistance uh, perhaps boots because they have less of the offense maybe I mean it's really up to you you just need one piece if you were to go for the full four sets there's no point because they don't have paranoid delusions they don't have the madness that's only for edemo and if you had kind of like the current gears anyway it wouldn't matter that much tanks the only ones who really need to have damage resistance against uh, dem demons especially demogorgon um so yeah it's there but i don't recommend it um yeah so that's about it i think for this vid um look out for future vids i will be covering basic basic 
um, random and the maps like Timokorgan, um, Tiamat as well as uh, Svart, Borg, SVA, MSVA as it were um, I don't think I'll be covering REDQ yet I'll be covering RTQ first it'll be a series randoms and how to run them properly because I've been running with pugs and I have to, I have to say some people just don't remember or don't know the mechanics because people don't run it anymore or maybe there's too many new players and I haven't got a clue so I will be making that as a series for like times memorable I guess anyway thanks for watching and peace